Good morning, everybody. I love you. It's sunshiny today. <sighs> Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're still kicking. Well, if you are, if you're watching this, you are. Good news, right? I just had an epiphany about the people in charge at this point. The, the, the current, whatever you want to call it, the current people in power. Let's just call them globalists. We know who they are. Obama, all of them, Hillary, they're all in a sitting in a room talking about it. Biden is just clueless, right? But here's the funny part. Is these people, all they know is how to push chaos and disinformation, and which they love saying that everybody else does. It's like they'll do, they do what they say, they accuse other people of doing is usually what they're doing. That's kind of how it works. That's the rule. But anyway... It's funny because I did realize that, that all they've been doing, because they've always felt like they were on the outside and they, they were fighting the man, right? So they were constantly just agitation, 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 fear porn, you know, stress, you know, and, the, the, you know, trying to tr create that kind of environment to the current administration or the last administration to the point where it just felt like everything was going to hell and everybody would hate him and not want that situation want them but the problem with these people is that's all they know is chaos like these newscasters these idiots all of them tapper um costanza ball dude all of them they're just the late what that all of that that was a, their name anyway, they're all just a bunch of losers but and they're all rich by the way but they all they know how to do is pump fear porn they don't understand peace they don't understand togetherness. They don't understand calm. <clears throat> and, th and the funny thing is this, Martin Luther King was all about unity. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you're from. If, if I tell you what, I guarantee you, Martin Luther King, when he was still walking the earth, if some racist white redneck would come up to him and just apologize and want to give him a hug, he would give him a hug. And that's just how it was. That's just how he, he, the vibe was, right? He, the, it was about love. But these people, they don't, they don't understand that. They don't know how to bring shit back together. That's why everything is falling apart. That's why it's all chaotic so bad. It's because that's what they feed on. That was their, that's, my best analogy is, have you ever seen a crackhead sit still? Tried to sit still? I know it's a terrible analogy because those poor things are usually mentally ill when you're addicted anyway and destroying yourself because you don't love yourself. It's usually how it works. But yeah, if you've if you ever watched a crackhead or a, or a meth head, try to sit still. It's impossible, and that's exactly what is going on with these globalists. It's impossible for them to sit still and relax, and because they they're so used to pumping out fear porn, they're just so used to making people on edge, fearful, and and that's no way to live. People are getting tired of that. I'm telling you, you can't wake up every day afraid to step out your door. That's not how life is. That's not how life works. And even the people that they were rooting, rooting for these idiots are starting to get tired of it because it, that's exactly what it is. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just a crackhead that can't sit still. And it's kind of sad to watch. Yeah. Anyway, I thought that was just an interesting. That's all I'm gonna say. That's it. that was my little epiphany. We'll see what happens. We'll just have to hope for the best, and you know. Do what you can. Like I said, love yourself. Live in love. Preach love. Tell people you love them. And just hug them and yeah, pray for the best. And use your be that be that love generator. Anyway, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna go back to painting and whatever the hell else I'm gonna do today. Anyway, I'll let you go with a little bit of desert. It actually looks a little bit nicer today. You tell them, puppy dog. And have a wonderful day.